Welcome to the overview of the options for the Alpheus Reading Tools. We'll show you how to customize the application. Click the User Options icon to customize user preferences. The Options panel groups the settings into UI, Features, and Resources. You can switch among them using these buttons. On the UI tab, you can configure the look and feel of the Alpheus user interface. On the Features tab, you can configure the behavior of the Alpheus features. On the Resources tab, you can configure your dictionary preferences. Let's look at the settings in more detail. We'll start with the UI options. Resize options allow you to set the font size for the Alpheus interface text. The default is medium, and you can choose to make it larger or smaller. The panel position setting lets you move the panel to the left or the right. Hide login prompt controls the display of those pesky login notifications. If at any point you click Don't Ask Again, the Hide Login Prompt setting will be checked. Uncheck it to restore login notices again. Remember, if you don't log into your account, the words you look up won't be saved to your word list when you leave a page. The last property, Log Level, is used mainly by developers for debugging. You shouldn't need to change this. Let's move on to the Features tab. Page language allows you to set the default language that Alpheus uses when you look up a word. It is Latin by default, so when we look up the word Monty, for example, Alpheus will use its Latin resources to analyze it. Let's change the default language to Greek and try looking up the same word, Mont, again. This time, we get no results, because it is not a valid Greek word. Note that if the page itself identifies the language of a word explicitly using HTML standards for doing so, then that language will be used instead of the default. The next settings control the Usage Examples feature. These settings will be explained further in the Usage Examples tutorial. The final feature setting allows you to enable lemma translations for Latin words. This feature is experimental still, so it is off by default. Let's enable it and choose Spanish as our language. Let's look up Monty again. Now we see the Spanish translations in the pop-up underneath the short definition. Now let's explore the Resources tab. It shows the dictionaries we use for full and short definitions for each language. Some languages offer multiple options. Let's use a Greek word to see how the dictionary settings affect the output. We need to look it up first, and don't forget to change the language to Greek here. We've changed the default dictionary for Greek to Audenreath, so now you can see that the short definition comes from there. If we choose Middle Liddell instead, those definitions will be used. And we can even choose to have multiple dictionaries enabled at once. The dictionaries for the full definitions can be changed as well. These affect the definitions that appear on the full definitions tab. Let's select several dictionaries for Greek full definitions. Now we have definitions from each dictionary we have chosen. You can always reset everything back to the default settings by clicking the Reset All button. Thank you for watching. Explore additional Alpheus features in the tutorials at https colon forward slash forward slash alpheus.net forward slash pages forward slash tutorials. Please email us with any questions at support at alpheus.net.